Can you fly fish with a spin rod? I'm going to find out today fishing the Natahala River in North Carolina. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, we cover kayak modifications, spin, and fly fishing. So poke that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. I've never done this before, so this is going to be a voyage of discovery for all of us. From everything I've seen, the way you do it is you get yourself a good ultralight rod and reel, and then you get one of these bubble things that you fill with water. And then to the bottom of this, you attach your fly. The bubble gives the weight, you can throw that out, and then the fly is going to act just like a regular fly on a, one of my fly rods. Now I think the key to making this work is you have the right rod and reel that's going to flip that thing out there uh, easily because you're talking about light weights, nothing really heavy. So I've got a CC8 combo here, ultralight from Cadence Fishing. The uh, rod is 30 ton modulus carbon, fast action, so it's going to give me a, a good flip a good rod action, and then I got a 1000 series reel on here, and I've spooled it with 8 pound Arden Gliss, again, to get a nice clean throw. So let's take a look at where I'm fishing. Hey, it's combat fishing today here on the Natahala. It's a day after it was stocked here in early November, or early October, and there's just cars at every turnout. You can see there's a guy coming up behind me right now. So what I want to do is fish this pool with this rod and reel combo and see if I can catch a fish. But isn't this pretty? Nice kind of sunny day, water spilling into this pool. So I'm gonna try a worm pattern with a nymph dropper, just like I would if I was fly fishing. Well, here's a problem that doesn't occur when I'm fly fishing look at this big tangle right here <clears throat> this is a mess no luck so far with this my buddy just caught a nice fish on the same uh, fly the worm thing uh, up a little bit so i know this is what they're hitting let me try it again right here and see if i can get anything so far i'm not real impressed with fly fishing with spin gear Well, no luck so far with fly fishing with this spin gear. Well, I tell you, this river is heavily pressured. That may have something to do with it. So I don't want to call it a loser right now. I'm going to give it another shot. But I do have some initial impressions on this Cadence Ultralight setup. This is sweet. This is easy casting, smooth reeling. I really like this spin rod and reel. I just need to catch a fish on it. Yeah, I saw a bunch of them right up over there. That's what you're using, right? The pink worm? Yeah, there's a little pool right here. We toss it in there and it'll swirl it around and take it out. Oh, this might be too heavy to do that. Oh, I thought I had one there. Come on, get it. Get it. Look at them all. I think they're hitting it. I'll try one more on this and then I'll switch. Now I'll just move up here and ten car up here and you can ten car down here. See like right there you'd have got them on the ten car. I think they are afraid of the bobber. I think it's just too big. I, I think they are too. Yeah. You know, maybe it would work better in a real deep river, but here where it's only like a foot or two deep, they're seeing that big honking bobber and they're ignoring the fly. And then when they hit it, it's already too late. They've already grabbed the fly and let go. So what's your experience fly fishing with a casting bubble? 
is there a minimum depth I, I don't know this is the first time I've ever used one and in this water I think it's a non-starter what's your perspective if you've got one throw it in the comments thanks